Good morning, everybody. My name is Mr. Morell. Today we are going to be doing a quick lesson comparing two numbers using greater than or less than. We are going to begin today doing a quick warm-up activity to help us learn what greater than, less than, and equal to mean. So here we have two plates of goldfish. The first thing I want to ask you is which plate of goldfish would you want to have? This plate or this plate? I'm guessing that you chose this plate, but why did you choose that plate? You probably chose this plate because it has more goldfish. What I want to do now is I want to count up our goldfish to see how many we have. So count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So our first plate of goldfish has ten. The next thing that I want to do is I want to count this plate. So count with me. One, two, three, four. This plate only has four. So we chose this plate of goldfish because it had more. It had a bigger number. So when we have a bigger number, that is when we say greater than. So we would say 10 is greater than four. We're comparing the two numbers that we have and we are saying that 10 is greater than four because it is a bigger number. That's why we chose to have this plate of goldfish. So what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna take away five goldfish from our big plate and give it to our other plate. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. So I took five away and I gave it to our other plate. So what we're gonna do now is we have to recount to see how many that we have. So we'll start with our first plate. We have one, two, three, four, five. So now we only have five goldfish here. And let's count how many we have on this plate now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine goldfish on our other plate. So what we would say now is since our first number is smaller than our other number, we would say less than. So when the first number is smaller, we say less than. So when you think of less than, think about the smaller number. So we would say five is less than nine because five is a lot less, it is smaller than nine. Now we would wanna choose this plate. So the last thing I wanna do is I wanna take two goldfish back from this plate and give it back to this plate. So here we go, let's take two away. One, two. So now let's count them up. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven goldfish on our first plate. And now let's count our second plate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one also has seven. So when both of our numbers that we are looking at are the same, that is when we say equal to. So we would say seven is equal to seven because that means they are the same. So when you think of the word equal, think about the word same. They are the same amount. The next thing that I wanna do is I want to introduce to you one of my special friends. His name is Danny the Dinosaur. Danny the Dinosaur, he really loves eating numbers. And it is breakfast time, so we are gonna have to help Danny the Dinosaur eat some breakfast. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to pick out some numbers for him and see which numbers he will want to eat. So when we are doing greater than or less than problems, Danny the dinosaur always loves eating the bigger number. So I'm gonna hang up two numbers, one on each side of me, and then you're gonna have to tell me which number we want Danny to eat. Because remember, he does only like to eat the bigger number. So I'm gonna hang up two numbers and then we're gonna have to see which one we should feed him. So now that we have our two numbers up, we're gonna have to see which number Danny is going to want to eat for breakfast. So I'm gonna point to the number and then we are both gonna say it at the same time. So ready? We have 20 and we have 11. So now we have to figure out, is Danny gonna to wanna to eat 20 goldfish or is Danny gonna to want to eat 11 goldfish? If you remember from before, Danny always loves to eat the bigger number. So we know 20 is much bigger 
than the 11. So we would say, Danny wants to eat the 20. So now if you think about the words that we learned about, since 20 is bigger, we would say 20 is greater than 11. So now we have two new numbers up on the wall. We have, say it with me, we have eight and we have 13. Remember, Danny only likes eating the bigger number. So now with breakfast, we have to figure out, does Danny wanna eat eight pancakes or do you think Danny would eat 13 pancakes? So we said Danny eats the bigger number. So Danny will eat 13. He'd much rather have 13 pancakes. So we would start reading on our left. And since eight is smaller than 13, remember when we have the word smaller, we say less than. So we would say, say it with me, eight is less than 13. For the next problem, we have two new numbers hung up and I want you to say them with me again. So when I point to them, just shout out the number. We have nine and we also have nine. So this kind of runs into a problem for us because we said Danny always likes eating the bigger number, but now we don't have a bigger number because both of the numbers are the same. Do you, do you remember what word we use when both of the numbers are the same? We learned when we were doing with, when we were working with the goldfish that when both numbers are the same, we say that they are equal. So what Danny's going to do is he's going to make the equal sign because nine is the same as nine. They are equal. All right, Danny is starting to get pretty full, but I think he has room for one more problem. And I think you guys are ready for a challenge problem. So I hung up some much harder numbers to see what we will do for this problem. So I'm gonna to point to the numbers and you're gonna say them with me. So we have 45 and we have 28. So these numbers are much bigger than all of the other numbers that we've been working with. So it is a bit of a challenge. So now I want you to tell me which number do you think Danny's gonna to wanna to eat? The 45 or the 28? Remember, Danny loves eating the bigger number. So we know 45 is much bigger than 28. Danny would much rather have 45 donuts instead of 28 because he loves big numbers. So we would say Danny is going to eat the 45. And if the first number is bigger, then we say greater than. So we would say 45 is greater than 28. So those are all of the problems that I brought for us today. So before we go, let's do a quick review. What does the word greater than mean? So the word greater than means the bigger number or bigger than the other number. It is greater than the other number. What does less than mean? Less than means smaller. It is smaller than the other number. And our last one, what does equal to mean? If the numbers are equal, that means they are the same. So I just want to say thank you guys for joining me today. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. So now on to your next lesson.